so I'm thinking, why you? Why should you be Miss World? Give me a compelling reason. Well, I think myself and all the other girls have worked very hard, but um, something that I think is unique to me is my life experiences. The things that I've been through throughout my life, the way they've molded me to know that you need to be yourself sometimes. So it's like, I come here and I'm like wearing my wig and sometimes I'm like, you know what? I don't feel comfortable in my wig anymore. I want to take it off. I want every single lady out there to know that you can be yourself at every time. You don't need to, you know, sometimes when you're, when you're yourself, you inspire other people around you to like be themselves. Like that. that's how you make everyone comfortable. Okay. And look, Nigeria is an amazing country. Yes. I've had the pleasure of going there. What can your country, Nigeria, teach the rest of the world? Um, okay, so if my country, no, wow. <laughs> Good question, right? I mean, first of all, we have one. We have the largest cre uh, entertainment industry in Africa, and something my country can bring to the rest of the world, I would say, is our hearts. I feel like we're very connected to each other, and no matter how far we are, we spread love. And we just—if you come to Nigeria, you know they're going to treat you with so much love and treat everyone with love. Okay. Good answer. Good luck. Thank you. Brazil, please take your seats. Hello, Miss Marga. Nice to see you too. So I was last in Rio at the Rock in Rio Festival in, uh, when was it, uh, 1991, I think. Beautiful country, Brazil. Um, tell me, why you? Same question. I want to hear a reason why everyone out there should think, yes, she's the one who should be in this world. Thank you for the question. I believe in purpose. And when you know your purpose in your life, you are ready to change the world. And we always need to look for a purpose and try to do the best of us every day. And I'm not here just to be myself, but I'm here to represent all these girls all these beautiful projects in words and I want to work not alone but I want to work together with all these women to make the world better. Thank okay. you. Okay, now your name is Elise, right? Yes. My daughter's name is Elise. Really? Yes. So you immediately have an advantage with me but unfortunately it's not going to help you. Um, look, what do you believe, everybody sits here now, they want to change the world for the better, what do you think is the greatest threat that your generation right now is facing? Excuse me? The greatest threat, danger, to, to your generation in the world right now. Uh, can I have some help for a stretch? So, a threat or a danger, what do you think is the most dangerous thing in the world okay. today for your generation? Okay, I believe that we need to be ourselves and we don't need to mind with the society say to us. We really need to be ourselves and believe ourselves and sometimes People used to be involved in what you, the society say to you used to be, but we really need to be yourself, and this is the most important thing to change the world and to be yourself. Okay, well, I'm certainly myself. Most people hope I wouldn't be myself, but I am. At least good luck. Thank you very much. Please welcome India. Okay, so Sumanga, 20 years old. 21. And you're 21 now. <laughs> you, they had a birthday today, no. Yeah. <laughs> your proudest moment was when you were able to pay for your brother's university fees. It's a nice thing to do. Yes. So, um, as I've shared this before also, that I come from a community where the roles of women are restricted. In fact, my mother has faced a lot. and. Despite of the fact that she has faced all the odds of our community, still she raised me, she allowed me to choose my own dreams, to follow my path and just be what I want to be. And that's what made me able to be an independent woman at this age where other women in my community are still struggling to have equal rights. Excellent answer. Yeah. Now if you could choose one famous figure from the past or present mm -hmm. to help solve one of your global problems, who would it be? To be honest, I think we've had great uh, leaders uh, in the past and I know that we are going to have great leaders in the future but I won't be able to make one choice but yes, I can say that each one of us, we have a role to play in the society and give back to the society in whatever capacity we can. And that's what I want from all of you, that we as, a, as an individual, we can do so much to the country, to the world. 
and we just have to believe in ourselves because I am telling you that if I can, we all can. Trust me. Absolutely. Thank you. Brilliant. Thank you. Yeah, love to see you. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Welcome Jamaica! Okay, Miss Jamaica. Hello. I love Jamaica. Really? I me love too. Jamaica. My wife, friends, Chris Gale, the creator. Yes. Usain Bolt, the sprint. All okay. my favorite people come from Jamaica. So they'll all be watching, cheering you on. Hello. Why should you win? What's special about you? I think I represent something special. A generation of women that are pushing forward to change the world. I wouldn't say I'm different from any other women on this stage, but I will say that my passion for women and pouring into them and making sure they have the same opportunities that I've had is something that sets me apart. Who's the most inspiring woman for you in the world? So you asked me a question to make me cry. Well, okay. The most inspiring woman to me is my mother. Now I must say, if, if my mother and my father are the roots and I am the tree, then really any work that I do, anything that I'm able to, to change in the world... It is the fruits of their labor. I have watched her pour everything into me, even at the sacrifice of her own, her own wants and her own needs, and that's why I'm able to sit before you today. Thank you. to make me cry, but I didn't think yeah, this way. It's only less than two minutes. That's how good I am. Great to, great to meet you. We have to move on. That's the next one. Thank you, Jamaica. Tremendous. And this one. Bonjour, ça va? Bonjour. Très bien, et vous? My, my wife is half French. Oh, okay. So, uh, from Paris, in fact. Yeah. I'm from also French overseas department. Oh, okay. Caribbean and Indian Ocean. Now, uh, you represent many different parts of France, you said. France is an amazing country. It has very many talents, very many people. What is it about you, on behalf of France, that makes you a winner today, do you think? You know, I have a special history. I'm a child of the Fadu, that I said before. And being a child of the Fadut and overcome all the difficulties that I have in my family, I have a lot of responsibilities. And now I want to impact the, the life of others, to be useful. And this is why I'm here. I'm proud to represent my country. And 66 years after the, uh, the Miss World from France, I saw her. She's in the first world. I w really want to be this woman. And every contestant wants to change the world for the better. How would you change the world for the better? I think that it's the most beautiful mission that a woman can do. I really want to change. I don't know if only me I can change the world, but I know with all these amazing women behind me that we can change the world because this is they are so courageous and I'm so proud to be with her in this competition. Well said. Okay, good luck to you. Thank you. Thank you very much. A big thank you to Miss France and a big thank you.